Hello, Ms. Morris. <laughs> this is like the 20th time I've done this. I might cry if this is not it. But I'll get started. Hello, Miss LMA. My name is Hope Gribble, and I'll be your student nurse today. And hi, Jean. <clears throat> if you don't mind stating your name and date of birth. Okay, thank you. So today I'm going to be inserting a Foley catheter, and that's just due to your blood pressure being on the lower end, and we just need to be able to monitor your urine output. So if that's all good to you, I'm going to go ahead and ensure your patient privacy. Draw the curtain, and during this, we'll just make sure no one comes in at all, and just make sure you're as comfortable as we possibly can make you. And so now I'm going to raise the bed up to working height. I'm going to lower the bedside rail down. And now I'm just going to steal a little bit of your covers if you don't mind. We're just going to prop your legs up so it makes it easier just to be able to insert it so you don't mind propping your legs up, okay? And are you in a comfortable position, okay? All right, thank you. I'm going to get hand hygiene again, and now I'm going to put on um, my non-sterile gloves. They're just clean gloves. <clears throat> I'm going to grab my kit. Put my sterile gloves there. Take my kit out. Place my kit right here. And now I'm going to use the bag um, as my little garbage bag. I'm just going to prop this up over there. And I'm just going to pinch this and let it drop. Pinch this and let it drop. Pinch this, drop. So now that that is all set up, I'm going to take off my um, non-sterile gloves, my clean gloves. I'm going to discard them over here in my imaginary trash can. I'm trying to save these in case I have to redo it, though, <laughs> so they don't crinkle up. So I'm going to throw these into the trash. And now I'm going to apply my sterile gloves. So, <clears throat> make sure you can see. So I'm going to remain on the one inch border, which is contaminated technically. I'm just going to unfold this. And also, before I would even start this, I would do hand hygiene, just, just making that clear. Hand hygiene before I do this. Unfold this down. Okay, so I'm going to keep my hands away from my body and go over to my sterile field. And I'm going to start undoing my kit. So first, I'm going to take the drape. And I'm going to just pinch this side. Just let it fall open. And I'm going to put the shiny side down. I'm just going to take and drop. And I'm going to take this, which is just going to make the place where I... Take this, take this and just drop. Okay, so now I'm going to take my kit apart. I'm just going to undo some of this. <clears throat> so first, typically there would be a blue wrapping around this catheter. And since there's not, I'm just going to act like I'm removing it, going around the sterile field and dropping it. But I'm going to just ravel this up in my hand so that it doesn't get anywhere. It doesn't become contaminated. And now I'm going to be testing my, um, testing the balloon just to make sure that it inflates before I even insert it. So I'm going to 
hook this up right here. And I'm just going to try. And I know that it works now, so we're all good to go on that. Go to retract. <clears throat> and so I'm going to place this right down here. Take my lube, open it, drop, place the lube in there. I've already have some in there. Take this, go around the cereal field, drop. And now I'm going to be taking this catheter in and placing it into the lube just so that it can get lubricated before we insert it into Miss May. So that's sitting there. And now I'm going to take my, um, my um, simulated swab sticks um, just to be able to clean the area. So I'm going to rip this, take this around, drop it, just the top part. And now this is the part where I'm going to be contaminating my left hand. So I'm going to place my left hand just to be able to hold up the labia of the Miss May. And so I'm going to take my swab stick. And so I'm going to first go to the outer edge of the labia, the furthest one away from me, and wipe from the top to the bottom. Go around my serial field, take and drop. Take my next swab stick, come to the closest labia, wipe from top to bottom. Go around my serial field, drop. Take my final swab stick and clean the meatus from top to bottom. Go around the sterile field, take and drop. And now I'm going to take the wrapper and also take around and drop. And now, since my um, my Foley catheter has been um, getting lubricated, I'm going to tell Miss Mitt she'll feel a little bit of pressure, but to let me know if it's just too much discomfort that she cannot handle. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. And so Miss May, I'm going to insert about two to three inches. And I see you're in output now, so I'm going to advance it another one to two inches. All right. You might feel a little pressure. Inflating the balloon now. Pop this off. Drop this. Okay, now that the balloon is inflated, I'm going to tug back, and I feel gentle resistance against it, so I know that it is all secured in the right place. So now from this point on, I would secure the catheter to the leg to make sure that nothing could happen to it and go anywhere, so it would be secure to the leg. And then I would take the um, urine bag that it would fall into, and I would place it below the bed, not below the bed, below the bladder, onto the bed frame so that it does not, um, it does not move and it's not on the bed rail, because if it's on the bed rail, then it would be moving everywhere, so just place it there. And then that's what I would do to insert it. And then before I would leave, I would clean up all of this. I would um, take off these gloves. I put the call light in reach. I would raise the bed back down to um, lower and locked position. I would put the bed rail up. I would tell Miss May to tell me if she needs anything, ask her how her pain is, um, if she's feeling okay and comfortable. I would put her back into a comfortable position, lower her legs down, whatever she needed, and then take off these gloves, do hand hygiene, and exit the room.